All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another F1 Manager 2022 playthrough. Today, we are playing as Alfa Romeo with the 2023 uh, mod, where all the drivers in 2023 are with their respective teams in-game. Check the description for the link to the Patreon page that has the mod. Uh, we are at Miami now, round five, and you know what sucked was that we, were, we had to put in new engines and gearboxes uh, for the start of race number four because we were in the 50-60% uh, uh, for those components so uh, it looks like we're going to be using a lot of cash to buy more components throughout the season um, we have some driver experience points to give away uh, let's see joe guan yu let's go with cornering yeah let's just work on his pace right now smoothness is actually okay adaptability is actually okay he's not that bad of a driver actually he's only 22 years old and he's already an 80 overall driver um compared to teo Percher, who is an 18 year old and 72 um so yeah he's gonna need to grow eight more overall points in four years to catch up to joe so joe's actually in a pretty decent spot right near right now although his growth potential is already at average but he's still bring being able to bring home a bunch of experience points so um valtteri is how old is he 32 years old he's not going to get much much better than this i think he's only bringing home like 300 or 400 experience points uh, at the end of every race so he's not going to get much better than an 85 i wouldn't be surprised maybe he's only like an 87 or an 88 at the end of his career um so we will have to see he's super expensive too um and we have him on for four more years uh how about joe what's his contract two years okay and Teo, four years. All right, so by the time Teo, uh, or by the time Valtteri is ready to go, Teo should be able to jump into his seat as well. Um, right now, I don't think we need to really even consider looking for new drivers. There's really not many. Oliver Bierman, maybe? Um, he's actually doing pretty well in the my Williams playthrough. And maybe Isaac Hadjar. Um, but since Behrman is 16 and he's already at 65, he's probably going to be the best young driver. Right now, Theo Porcher at 18 and 72 is the best one. I think Piastri is okay too. Where is Piastri? Ah, wait, there's Iwasa here too. Which I don't think Iwasa is in the base game. Or at least I don't think he is anyway. Um... Oh yeah, Piastri is already driving for McLaren. I can't I forgot about that. Um, what's his rating? 80 overall at 21 years old. So he's really not that much far off of Joe Guan Yu, 80 at 22. Although I think his um, his growth potential is probably much higher than Joe's right now. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that. Uh, for now, we have two decent drivers. How about let's check our staff? Okay. So, Jan Mancho gets one point. Jesus Christ. Maybe we want to get Simone Resta in here quick. Or is he not the technical chief? Let's get Simone Resta in here. Let's try anyway. Yeah, he is 10 points higher than him. Um, I'm going to try to get him in right now. We need all the help we can get. The guy that we have right now is just way too low. Can we sign him for here? $4 million? Let's do it. We need him. 70 overall. Technical chief is just not going to cut it. So we lose a little bit of money. Now we're at 6.7, but we we got a huge upgrade. We have 80 technical chief and 80 head of aerodynamics. Do we want to bring in the new race engineer now as well? Pierre Ham Hamelin. I think we do. I think 70 is just not going to um, cut it. We'll go three seasons. $1.1 million. 150K. Oh, 115. Will this do it? All right. Sorry, Alex Chan. Just not cutting it, buddy. All right. So I was not expecting to do that when we started this episode. But we got 80 technical chief, 80 head of arrow, 78 race engineer, and 78 race engineer. Should help Valtteri out. Um, 
because Valtteri's um, race setups were not looking good through FP1 and FP2. So we are good to go now. Um, facilities, well, we just wasted our money, our money on the uh, personnel, so we're not going to be able to spend anything else now. Uh, when is the ATR period? Okay, so ATR period next week. Um, so we'll have to spend some more money on that as well. Here comes the rear wing. Yep, welcome Simone Resto. Welcome Pierre Hamelin. Rear wing low stock. Why is the rear wing low stock? Did we not do the two? Oh, we didn't do the two normal manufacturers. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's do that. Um, and we should get them in, in time for the race. Uh, did we hit the ATR period yet? No. We should now, though, I think. Or not yet. One more day. All right. So we are in the new ATR period. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to take a look at the car analysis right now. Ninth, 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 ninth. So we really need top speed acceleration and then core. <laughs> we need help everywhere, really. Um, I... I I honestly think it's really not worth doing anything other than front wing, rear wing, and underfloor. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to do front wing, rear wing, and underfloor once again, or front wing and rear wing for now. And then once we get the new um, design center into where we can spend some more time uh, or um, do some more designs, three designs, then I will um, take care of that. So, um breaking we're gonna go all the way down let's see rank on grid so we should oof, all right really good improvement here um i think we're gonna have to be fine with that two million dollars okay and then we're gonna do the same thing for the rear wing actually let's see what the underfloor does will the underfloor make us jump a little bit higher than the rear wing the underfloor should help us with top speed and acceleration. Drag reduction. Up high. Airflow sensitivity. Okay, so third, fifth, fifth, fifth. Thirds and fifths. Let's take a look at the rear wing. See what that does for us. We're just going to max the CFD MAU hours and wind tunnel hours. So thirds and fifths pretty much. How about the rear wing here? Drag reduction all the way to the right. Um, DRS delta all the way to the right. I think the underfloor might actually be our better bet here. So let's go with an underfloor this time. And then we will do another rear wing later. Or Yeah, let's do that. Thirds and fifths. Um, yeah, thirds and fifths should make us competitive. I know that other teams will probably be bringing in upgrades as well. 2.9 million dollars right now we have to worry about making the car faster before we we worry about anything else um so let's make the car faster and then we will worry about um like facilities to to um to worry about uh, bringing in more project capacities and and uh manufacturer capacities and stuff like that um but right now i think with what we have and hiring simone resta as our new technical chief uh, it should help us. I think I think Alessandro's okay for now. If we take a look at the aerodynamics, where is Alessandro? Is the fifth best um, for now? Nobody else is interested anyway. Yeah. Although I think that's because yeah we're two days away from the the race, so that's good. We've got that taken care of. We've got our parts coming in. Rear wing manufactured. That is good. Uh, right before we will go into performance targets. And let's do this. Reach Q2 and reach Q3. I think we can do that. Fastest lap finish position. P10. I think we can do that. And then qualifying and finish position streak. I think we should be okay with that. Last checks to make sure we don't have any points to distribute before we start. Okay. 
and let's start the Miami Grand Prix race weekend, guys. I'll take your practice. I will see you back for a quali. All right, boys and girls, end of FP3, P10 and P13. Not exactly great, but our setup confidence is 97 and 98, which is perfect for us. I think I'm just going to leave them exactly where they are. Um, we're going to put the newer engine and gearbox back on. We're going to stick with the old ERS component right now. 72% should still be good, and I don't want to be replacing that before it, it reaches like the 60% mark. Um, hopefully, it should allow us. What are we in race number four, five now? Jesus. I mean, if this will last us two more races, we should be able to get away with just having to buy one more ERS. We're going to have to definitely buy another engine, and we're definitely going to have to buy another gearbox. Maybe not another gearbox. We're in race 5. If we just keep using this for practice and then keep using the old ones for practice, I think we might be able to get away with not having to buy a new gearbox at the end of the year, but we'll have to see. Depends on how far or close we are in the constructor standings. Um, if we're if there's no way we're catching anybody or anybody's catching us, then we're just going to stick with those components. But for now, I think we are good right now. 97, 98 confidence. Um, we're going to go into Q1. Let's hope we can do better here. And I'm going to pay attention. I also remembered to do the performance incentives, so that's always good. All right, come on now. We do have good DRS um, top speed and acceleration, although our regular top speed and acceleration isn't all that great. I think we're still only ninth right now, whereas our DRS top speed and acceleration is like fifth, I think it is. So it's it should help us in overtaking. There. Maybe not so much in defending. We'll wait until Sergeant comes by. Actually, we'll wait until DeVries comes by. Okay, great. Now we have a whole bunch of cars coming through. All right. We'll send them out right now. I think Alonzo is already done with his lap. Yep, we are behind Ocon. I don't know if Ocon is on a slow lap or in lap or out lap. They should be diving off into the pits if they are. Okay, there we go. Clean air in front of us. We have Alonzo behind us on a slow lap. That's good. And nobody in front of us. So let's see. No slipstream here. We may not... What the hell? How are we P1 and P5? Did, <laughs> did people get caught up in traffic or something? Should I just keep them in? This is not our top. This is not our actual speed, is it? No, I don't think it is. All right. I think people got caught up, but we should still be okay this high up here. I don't think these people are going to be improving over 1.3 seconds. So I'm going to keep them in the pit lane right now. I'm assuming we're going to drop down to probably like P11, P12. How is Bottas on provisional pole right now? I don't I don't know that. I don't understand that. There we go. We're dropping. We're dropping. Continuing to drop, but I think we'll be good. Wow, that was surprising. P4 and P9 on one run. So, Sergeant, Albin, Sinoda, Hulkenberg, and DeVries. Pretty much the same five guys that got eliminated last race out in Q1. Um... All right, we'll put them on the old softs again. And we will do two runs here. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do two runs here anyway. But our... Ready to check. Q1 times were okay. That was a weird call from Hamelin. That didn't sound anything like Hamelin. All right, um, so these guys are on quick laps right now. We'll wait until Alonzo gets by, and then we'll uh, send our guys out. There we go. Leclerc is on a fast lap. Is he going to catch us? Yeah, I think he's going to catch us. Hopefully we caught up to Leclerc before um, at at a quick spot on track. Damn, we get held up right there. Um, Bottas still finished better than Joe, though. Okay. Come on, get back in the pit lane, guys. There we go. Joe, where are you? Okay. I'm going to switch on to new softs. And then wait for everybody else to come out here. 
think we should be able to make it through one more time. Are we going to be in the back? Yeah, we're probably going to be in the back. We are behind Alonzo. That's good. Um, should be able to get Slipstream off of him. And Magnuson, who I think is in a slower car, is behind us. So that should be fine. But Alonzo might end up catching up to Gasly here, which might slow them down and then slow us down in the long run. Oh. Oh, we got green sectors. All right, so Pete. No, 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 no. We've had a car run wide. Joe. Oh, damn it. Joe got knocked out. Damn it. Bottas into Q3, though. P11. So he just barely missed out. Seven hundredths of a second off of George Russell. Who squeezed in here that shouldn't be in here? Pierre Gasly squeezed in here. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we will start on the scrub set once again, saving one new set. Actually, you know what? I feel like the first runs are always quicker than the second runs, so we're gonna put we're gonna put Bottas on a new set for his first run here. And we only have one driver to focus on, so that this? should be good. Me, uh? See, that sounds more like Pierre, who's coming out. Ooh, there's a Red Bull coming out. Let's put him out behind the Red Bull. All right, let's see if he can use the slipstream from Verstappen to help him get a better lap time here. Come on, Valtteri. Uh, too far back, I think. Where is he? P4, six tenths off. Still better than the Ferraris, Russell, and Gasly. I think we're going to be better than Gasly here. All right. And then we're going to put him on the new set here at the end. Card should start coming out right about now. All right, we are behind signs here. Let's go. Green sectors, please, Valtteri. All right, here we are. Yellow, damn it. Yellow, damn it. I suppose it's a good thing we put him on the... Uh, he was one thousandths. Was he one thousandths? Well, he was at six tenths behind. Now he's at 0.599. Okay, so we managed P6 with Valtteri. That's not too bad. P6 and P11. Um, and we do have one or two slower cars in are, front of us for Joe Guan Yu. So we should be okay. Ooh, it's raining. It's raining today. Oh, shit. I think we might just go with the inters. It doesn't look like it's going to be raining heavily enough. I mean, over here, it looks like it might be raining heavy enough for wets, but that's only going to be a couple laps here. <sighs> well, we definitely have to go mediums. Or can we go softs? Uh, softs are barely going to make it. I think we're going to go mediums. Yeah, we'll just start on the mediums for now with both guys, and then we will push like hell, and then we will decide on what we want to do. Now, since we know that the car can conserve fuel already, we are going to go with just normal fuel here. Actually, we might even be able to underfuel the car. No, 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 no. I want to have normal fuel so we can push for a little bit. All right, so P6 and P11. I'm assuming everybody else is going to be starting on the softs. The softs should make it. Sauce should make it to the rain, but um, they're barely going to. So we're going to start on the mediums for now. And then we will figure it out from there. I hope to God other it's people started on the softs. Come on, start on the softs. The Miami Grand Prix. I can't tell. Uh, no, I think they're on the mediums. Hards. Alonzo's on the hards. Oh my goodness. All, all A lot of them. Alright, so we are going to push like hell with the mediums here. 
because yeah even though our weather center isn't super upgraded um i know that it's the mediums should make it to there um so we're gonna push on that we're gonna push on overtake as well and we might even push on fuel for now make ourselves a little bit lighter for when the rain starts can we make up his positions joe's already up to p10 good for you got a lot of hard runners in front of us we might be able to make up some positions here like that was a position gained for alfa romeo All right, so Hamilton and Verstappen, the only medium runners in front of Valtteri right now. Come on, Valtteri. Come on. Make a move here. If we can't make a move here. Just moved up a place. All right, so Joe is up to P8 now. He just overtook two Ferraris. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. He overtook the two Ferraris. For Alfa Romeo. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's All right, so he passed signs and now he is passing Leclerc. All right. Good for you, Joe. Good for you. All right. So we're looking good so far. Russell is outside of... Well, he was outside of DRS for momentarily. Still got a good chunk of battery left. That's good. Come on, Valtteri. Just dive it. Down the inside. Dang. All right. I'm going to conserve battery with... Um, you can use DRS with Joe for now. Still got a decent amount of battery on board with Valtteri here, so let's gonna continue pushing with overtake. Rain is coming on lap, and looks like about lap 12 or so. Well, let's just go attack on these tires. There you go, Valtteri. We are around Stroll. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Hamilton here. We might. We are pushing with everything that we have. There we go. Okay. Once it starts raining, we'll start conserving um, fuel. But I think for now, we're going to keep pushing. Where is Joe? Joe got by Russell as well. We are P4, P7 right now. Can we get by Stroll? Stroll's got DRS as well. Come on now, come on, come on, come on. We're close. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Just move left. Joe, move left. Shoot. Okay, we are out of battery now. We're going to have to start conserving. Stroll is about to fall outside of DRS. Ah, well, he was for a moment. Okay, let's go aggressive on the tires now just to make sure that tires make it to the rain. And then we'll go 8x here. Ooh, something happened to Perez. We just passed Perez. All right, we'll take it easy on the fuel now. Joe's out in front of Stroll. Oh, Stroll, something happened to Stroll. He fell back. All right, Perez is back out in front of us. Where are we? We are behind Hamilton now. 
can we harvest a little bit while we are behind Hamilton? We are outside of DRS now. That's not good. Uh, we're harvesting some battery, though. We need it. Yeah, confirm. We have more rain. We have more rain around. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on the rain now. Starting to come down. Oh, I still don't know which. Maybe we go onto the inters first, and then we'll change onto the wets later. I think it looks like it's going to be inters weather for um, the first little bit. Still no rain on track. Still dry. We have to be smart here, though. Okay, here comes the rain now. Where is okay? So Valtteri is definitely gonna have to come in. I think it's gonna be Inter's weather right away. Or is that gonna be wet? I think it's only gonna be moderate rain and then it's light rain moderate rain and then light rain again so i think we're going to be inters for, for now and then it will change over to full wets later but only for a few laps so i'm not quite sure oh jesus this is going to be difficult Look at that. They've run wide. we are double stacking Just moved up a place. Bottas in P2. Joe in P5. How did that happen? Everybody's on the inters. Okay, good. We made the right decision. I have to keep an eye on that dampness now. Come on, Valtteri. We can get a podium here if we play our cards right. Although Joe's going to get swallowed up by Perez and Alonso, I think. No DRS, though, so we might be able to hold them off. Good luck, Charm is here. Boonjamin to my left. Uh, yeah, there goes Joe. He's about to get swallowed up by Checo and Alonso. Bot has just bleeding time to Verstappen. 13, 14 seconds now. Joe's holding off Perez in the Red Bull, though. I think we're about to lose it right now. Nope. Yep, there we go. Okay, we lost it. Um, Red Bull gained the so the rain's going to get a little bit heavier for now. I don't want to push. I want to sit right where we're at right now. I don't want to push in case we go off track or something like that. All right, the dampness is coming down, although it looks like it should raise up again. Gap to, ooh, ooh, yellow sector one. Yellow flag only. No safety car? We've just had a crash on the track. Let's see what No safety car, just a yellow flag. Now just focus on the Haas. This is all behind us anyway. Ah. Uh, okay. Bottas is still in P2. Joe managing to still stick behind Perez and not letting Alonso by. Which is good. Russell and Sainz fighting. I think Sainz is definitely slower than Russell, but um, them fighting is slowing each other down, which is good for Valtteri in P2 right now. Although Perez is about to come up to the back of that fight. And Joe is sitting in a comfortable P6, still managing to stick to Perez's gearbox. And Alonso, or still defending Alonso right now with Hamilton behind him. So Bottas is in a good spot. Rain is going to get a little bit dry for now. We might even come under the one millimeter mark uh, with the track dampness. So I wonder if anybody's going to pit for dry tires. 
Nope, never mind. We just it just came and gone. Now it's gonna get a little bit wetter. Oh shoot! I think we're gonna have to pit for wets. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna follow Verstappen. Luckily for us, Verstappen is far enough ahead right now that um, we can just do what he does. Oh, Joe's starting to fall back off of Perez. Meaning Alonso's probably going to catch up sooner or later. Well, I mean, he has caught up, but he's going to pass sooner or later. But let's hope that these guys continuing to fight will slow them down and allow Joe to catch back up to that slipstream. What is the gap? Signs is 9.5 seconds to Bottas right now. Let's see if that goes up or down. Yeah, it's just so difficult to pass. Ah, there we go. Russell finally gets around Leclerc. I mean, signs, I should say, not Leclerc. Leclerc is in P12 right now. Bottas, 10 seconds to Bottas from Russell. And Joe is about to catch up to the back of Perez again, hopefully anyway. Which should make it a little bit more difficult for Alonso to get by. Um, so where are we at? It's about to get super heavy now. Will Verstappen come in or not? That is the question. Will anybody else come in for the full wets? Okay. Where is Bottas? We're going to see if anybody ahead of him changes on to the wets. Is anybody coming in? Is anybody coming in? Someone's run wide. Hamilton running wide. Good, that's one less car we have to worry about. Okay, so we are at the max right now. And it still says light rain. 3.96. Is anybody going to come in and put on the full wets? No, everybody's staying out. I don't think it's going to get any heavier than this. Okay, so we are good. It's not getting any heavier than it is right now. Um, but we are at 50%. I'm going to have to check again. So there's going to be a little bit of a dry spot here. We will have to come in and put on new inters at some point because these inters won't go to the end. All right. What do we want to do? Maybe we put, we get Joe in, get him on an undercut, and then um, maybe gain some positions. Should we do that? Hang on. I'm going to take a look at this. Okay, so it's going to be Inter's weather pretty much to the end of the race. Unless, of course, we hit wet weather there. Do we want to take a chance? Joe is P6 right now. Or do we just wait here? Oh, this is so difficult. Maybe we get Joe in and give him an undercut. Let's try that. Let me take a look at the weather again. Light rain, light rain. Okay. We're going to bring Joe in, put him on a new set of inters, because we're going to have to anyway. He's not making it all the way to the end. Nobody's making it all the way to the end on these inters here. So we're going to bring Joe in, see if he can get an undercut. He's on brand new inters now, P8. Where is he? 17 seconds behind. Oh, other guys are coming in. Alonzo comes in. We jump Alonzo again. Nice. So we did get a bit of... Wait, no, he was behind us anyway. What am I talking about? Um, nobody else is coming in. Nobody else came in to cover us off. Where are we at now? 16 seconds behind, 15 seconds behind. We are gaining. Alonso gets out in front of us. All right. All right. We should bring, we should bring Bottas in too. All right, come on in, Bottas. Ocon coming in for new inters. We're going to come out in clean air. Good, 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 good. Joe's still managing to stick to the back of Alonso. Bottas should start pulling away once again. Hopefully Alonso doesn't catch up to Bottas now. Look at that. Bottas... I mean, Alonso and Joe are almost caught up to the back of the Russell train here with the undercut that they got. All right, we got a huge undercut on Perez. Holy crap. Perez was in front of us, which means we're gonna jump the two Mercedes as well. 
Their enters have got to be dead now. 30%. Yeah. They're going to slow us down, aren't they? Come on. One of you guys. All right. So we are full wets now. I don't suppose it's going to stay here that long. Will it? No, it's going to come back down soon enough. Are these guys changing onto full wets? No, everybody's still on inters. Okay, everybody switched onto the inters still. Joe is in P4. Eight laps left to go. Come on, Valtteri. You can hold off Alonzo, can't you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, Valtteri. Come on. Let's go ahead and push on fuel. We got a little bit of fuel to play with. Let's go ahead and push. All right, so we're back on to under four millimeters of rain on track. We've got a little bit of fuel to play with. We're pushing on fuel. Got some traffic in front of us. Hopefully Hulkenberg can slow down Alonzo. Which he did. Thank you, F1 gods. Where is Joe? Joe is too far behind, really. But boy, what a race. Perez and Sainz coming up behind us now. Um, five seconds back on Joe. Bottas is pulling away from Alonso, courtesy of the lapped traffic that slowed him down. We have three laps left to go. Perez, I mean, not Perez, Verstappen, 45 seconds ahead. Good God, that guy's an alien. Pretty much true to real life, too. All right. Three laps left to go, including this lap. All right, can Joe catch up if we push? No overtake. Nope, never mind. Battery's dead. Also, we'll just take it easy with um, Joe for now, just so that he doesn't crash out. We're stepping on the last lap. Hey, we got the fastest lap, too. We'll stay on board with Valtteri here. I think he's earned the the TV time. So, Verstappen over the line. Valtteri 2.5 seconds ahead of Alonso. Joe is 8 seconds behind Alonso and in P4. Holy crap. I was not expecting us to do this well at Miami. With all the straights here and pretty much flat out for a good chunk of the lap. Uh, I didn't think the car had it to uh, to really do well here, but for some reason, we managed to finish 2-4. I mean, good strategy calls, I suppose. Having um, Joe come in early to get that undercut, we jumped a good chunk of cars with that undercut, so um, that was good strategy there. Over the line. Nice, nice, nice. We got a whole bunch of points today. P2 and P4. Valtteri on the podium. 19 points and the fastest lap. Was that set? Yeah, that must have been set. That definitely was set on the drives. And then Joe Guan Yu in P4 with 12 points of his own. Now in the driver's standings, Valtteri Bottas up one position with 31 points. Joe Guan Yu up one position with 16 points. And in the constructor's standings, we are moving closer towards Ferrari now. Um, how many points is that? 18 points behind Ferrari and a good 31 points. No, 41 points in front of Alpine, who did not manage to score any points there, though. Um, so, out of all the teams, we scored the second most points out of everybody at Miami, which is good. And I think we hit a good chunk of our incentives as well. Teo Percher with another development point. Overall, good weekend for us here. $3.9 million. God damn, $1.9 million to Valtteri, Valtteri Bottas? Jesus. 
we are going to have to take a look at that. That is a bunch of money that um, we are losing out because he is finishing much higher <laughs> than he should be. Um, so though I am glad that we finished that high, I am not happy that we lost $2 million to incentive bonuses with Valtteri. But overall, still can't be upset with that weekend, guys. What a good race at Miami. Now, we're, both of our drivers are in the top 10 now as well, so that's good. And Pierre Gasly is um, 12 points behind. So Gasly will need to finish P1, 2, 3, 4. P4 to jump Joe on you in the next race. So that is it for the Miami Grand Prix, boys and girls. Um much better ending than i was expecting with the way the car is uh for now so uh if you think i've read it please feel free to leave a like comment or subscribe stay tuned for more remember to eat your bok choy i'll see you guys in the next episode up next circuit de barcelona car barcelona catalonia round number six i'll see you guys